Hello everyone, I'm Clown Nebula and welcome to Corto Maltese, Secrets of Venice. This is a graphic, uh, graphic novel game about, uh, inspired by the works of Hugo Pratt, uh, that is um, the writer of Corto Maltese, which is uh, probably the most famous and best uh, comic book uh, character ever written uh, here by Italians. And so, um, for now, I can't, uh, I didn't manage to uh, change the language of the game to English, so I will have to translate for you. And then I sent a message to the developers, and maybe they will tell me how to do the translation, the, how to change language, sorry. But for now, you have to enjoy my <laughs> translation from Italian. So, this is Corto Maltese Secrets of Venice. And uh, throughout the game, uh, I, will, I think uh, you will start to know uh, who Corto Maltese is. Che Maltese is. Uh, but I think if you're watching this, uh, probably you already know who he is. So, I think uh, with that said, we can start. So, here we go. Yes, starting a new game. Dennis today. Yeah, lovely pictures of Venice in the background. And gondole. This is uh, San Marco church or cathedral, I don't know in English how's, how it's called. A man escaping from someone, probably didn't pay the, the bill for traveling with Gondola. He gets shot. A mysterious man. Finally, someone finally has arrived at the moment to enter in action. This is not the first time I come to Venice. This is the third one because of a bet. This is Corto Maltese on the left. A bet? Interesting. Yeah, of two Simons. I mean, Apostle Simon and Peter. Simon goes to Antioquia and wins a bareket, which is a, um, a bone of the chest of Salomon. An emerald. Yep. Value object. Pure and beautiful emerald. Yeah, I come for this. The, the other guy on the right is the Beppi Faliero. I never heard of it. Sorry. Yeah. It is really exists or it's a tale? I don't know that. Anyway, I believe in tales. There's someone there. Hmm. Yeah, this is about uh, a comic book that Hugo Pratt has written. Uh, is uh, called The Tales of um, of Venice. Okay, Porta de Libri is um, literally is a book of doors, the doors, door of books. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's the starting point. Maybe it's the the palace here. While from in the other side of Venice, there's uh, people killing in a um, little street of Canareggio. You rest in a bar for a last uh, for a last drink. Here, more than everywhere else, uh, dreams are um, found by uh, bandits and women and uh, great travelers. You'll see, you can you can lose. Uh, Soon, sense of reality here in Venice or life. Hmm. Already starting with the death sentences. Where am I? Ah, yeah, Venice. Uh, I'm in Venice from a few days. Last uh, last night was the um, the ending of the carnival. It spritz uh, one after another one, then the prosecco, and then I have one of these headaches. Is everything alright? 
After I got to sleep, I, f I had a strange dream. I drank too much for the end of the carnival. I have the... Um, how do you call it? Uh, hangovers. This must be it. You have an aspirin, by chance. Teresa makes strange dreams in my local... In my bar. So I guess this is the first time someone gets asleep in yours. In the meantime, uh, better than the all the aspirins in the world, I have the perfect uh, medicine. A good coffee and a special drink. Uh, the, the bar offers that. Then uh, right to bed. He has the same ring as the, the guy that killed it. Okay, you can move around. And all the objects are enlightened with this little star thing. On the reputation of the Italian espresso, nothing to say, but this stuff is really terrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so baby, let's not drink that coffee. I mean, it's strange. It's reasonable drinking this last glass. Well, I'd say yes. Let's drink that. Oh, another time. I fall in one more time. What a strange feeling. It seems like falling uh, to the upright. Beautiful here. It's full of reflexes of water. I mean, uh, arable reflexes. Yeah, strange uh, writings on here. And back to the bar. So, <laughs> you can say that you can't stand alcohol. Yeah, I think that too. I don't feel very well. I need some fresh air. Oh, come on. Stay on your uh, stay on your place. Better. I don't have, I don't want to get you <laughs> from the canal, which uh, you know the little uh, not rivers, but the little uh, water flowings in Venice, the canal. Just uh, recover step by step. <laughs> I'm bored. I want to go to see Venice. Anyway, my name is Floriano Gozzi. Welcome to my bar. Every, uh, in Venice, everybody knows me from some reasons, maybe because of the ring. One of my ancient um, relatives had uh, Gazzetta Veneziana, which is a journal, I guess. No, not a journal, a, a newspaper, more than 200 years ago. And um, the working place was uh, right here in this cafe. I really need to go back into my hotel. Advice, don't move uh, from here. Not before I uh, listen to what I have to say. Well, this is now, he's getting uh, menacing, this guy. The last number of this uh, uh, newspaper was uh, written by six women that have uh, known well a uh, sailor of, uh, by name of uh, Corto Maltese. His name tells you something. Yes, but I, I will say no because uh, I will let you know, guys, uh, what uh, this game has to say about him. Um, there are strange uh, encounters happening in Venice. Uh, you'll see me. You'll see that maybe. <laughs> anyway, he had offered uh, to s to these six women a jewel. Each one of them uh, was part of. Um, like a, um, a group of uh, extraordinary emeralds that's called uh, the clavicula of Salomone, which is the um, uh, bone of the chest. Not having more about, no more uh, news about Corto, these uh, women had decided to bring back the jewels to Venice in six um, secret location. So that uh, no one of her, of um, of them could um, recompose altogether the clavicle of Salomone. They will believe in tales. Listen, I just come to Venice to relax, not to play riddles. 
doesn't matter. I have here the number of the, of the newspaper written by this, those ladies. I'm sure that uh, it can lead to the um, six parts of the emeralds. And when I, and I say us, I mean uh, that uh, you will be the one searching them for me. Well, I guess Relida, um, not like a gentleman, I'd say. Mind your own business by your own, I'm not your servant. Open your eyes clearly. I I just offered you one of the ooh, one of the most uh, uh, rare, the rarest um, Venetian uh, poison in the um, in the drink. It's very ancient and very lethal, but I have the um, the cure. Bring him back. Bring me back the clavicle of Salomon, and you will have uh, your life spared unless or else. You're a dangerous, crazy psychopath. Just a matter of point of views. Looking the things from the right side, you will, will visit Venice, yeah. Perhaps. Do what I say and everything will be alright. Then I, I know what I will do. I will go to the hospital and, will, and I will call the police. If you are back, you will die full. The medicine... The Modern medicine can do anything against this poison. As, uh, as for the police, the time to. <laughs> um, they will believe your story. It will be dead right along for a long time. Okay, leaves. The bussola. The newspaper will lead you to your to your clues. And the bussola is the, that the instrument that leads to the north. I mean. The one to use to orient it around the uh, lands. Okay, so oh my, <laughs> my visit here starts very well. We have to believe to this story, or this man is crazy. And what is uh, what uh, does is, is uh, in the in the newspaper? I have uh, now there is um, seizures, I guess. Just got the. And the, uh, the newspaper. Let's see what has to say the journal. The newspaper, sorry. Okay. Okay, so we can open this. So this is the, um, the incipit. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Some articles are unreadable. I will find a way to unlock them. Uh, okay, why? Let's see. There's an enigma. There are two codes, uh, the road of the initiate and the road of the profane. What do I have to do? The road of the initiate may, uh, will um, uh, have a greater reward for me. I need to, re uh, to remember absolutely from the um, corresponding code. Okay, so give me access to the bussola. I've seen more interesting bus, um, bus. Sorry, I will use the term bus until I discover the, the translation. I hope this is one. Okay, this is an enlightened. I have to turn the three keys to recover the code that I choose in the newspaper. Profane or initiate. If I had an amnesia, I can always uh, reopen again the newspaper and see again the code of this enigma. Uh, okay. And now can I change code? Um, I don't know. Okay, so... Um, okay, I will try to find something here. Okay, this is the last page. Let's see, ah, Banshee Hodanon. Well, these are the famous women of uh, Corto Maltese's uh, stories. Boca Dorada. Portfolio. Okay. Okay, let's see. Here we are. Some...
Okay. Let's use this. Okay, I can rotate it. There's a lighting part, but I can't change. Okay, now I can change. Okay. Let's see in the newspaper the order of this. So I guess maybe this one, two is kind of P and M. Maybe it's like P and M. Let's see. Where's the symbol? Okay, let's see if it works. Hey, this is not very... It's quite sticky to <laughs> turn these things. Maybe it's this one? No, maybe I should have heard like a locking sound. I wonder why... I mean, the, if everything is Italian then this is... in French. Okay, maybe I will try to figure something out of this. Okay, so I think we'll try to do the initiate path. So I'm I think this is the code for the Yes. Okay, another done. And now the solution to the Enigma. There are documents that can help me. Uh, I can turn around the Bussa. Okay, here. On this side, I will find instruction to solve the, the enigmas. The uh, way of the initiate will I will have to um, to, to use internet to find answers. Okay, answers are other side of the bussa. The button return perm uh, permits to go back to the start. Okay. I have to click on the right, the side where I can put the answers. This is where we put the solution to the enigmas. Uh, I have to find the right answer. So let's get to work. Very simple, I will get from the... Okay. So I guess here I have to find... I posted an advice on this unusual place. Uh, check it out. Okay, this is a clear page of Google Maps. Okay. Okay, so maybe I have to check this. Okay, so I, I think I will change the... Now I'm doing that as a profile, because uh, I think it will take too much long to answer the questions there. So the name uh, Triangles is the answer to the enigma. Okay, I guess I have to uh, count all the triangles here. There are five, I guess. Maybe, yeah, no. Maybe I will try to do some of them. No, this is this incorrect. Okay. Okay, there are five triangles. Oh, because um, of this, I don't know if the sides, curvy sides, are also considered triangles. But we all try that. Well, one, two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's start with 13. Okay. No, wrong, wrong answer. Okay. Let's try another. The answer is 8. No, of course not. Hmm. Okay, let's try one more time then. Okay, you know what? I think I will try to. Um, to solve these kind of puzzles. So. I think that's enough for now. Okay, the camera is still working, I hope. Yeah. 
so we will see each other in the next episode and I will have the solution to the first riddle I will find on the Google Maps uh, this place this is in Venice, uh, Calle Lunga, okay and maybe I will try to tell you what, uh, what the advice uh, of the solution of the riddle is okay, thanks for watching as always uh, I hope you will enjoy this uh, as much as me because uh, I'm really a huge fan of uh, Corto Maltese and maybe so you can uh, also know one of the most famous characters in the comic book uh, world and uh, thanks for watching and we will see each other in the next video remember guys if you can't sleep the clowns are gonna eat the good night <laughs>